insist on cutting it all the way to the bottom. And not really playing it well in the middle either. It's got the top. Yeah, maybe after I make you sit through 20 or 30 minutes of me playing, I'll say something that you have to listen to and report on and try to discredit me. Uh, but for now, I was just playing. And for those of you who are new to my channel, nothing anybody's told you about me is that you heard from anybody but me is going to be near the truth. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> ah! Eventually, I'll get around to looking at the Kiwi Farms and another message board and laugh at the idiots. But for now, I'm just playing. And I'm not going to play anything unless it really wants me to play it. I'm mostly just exercising the horn in myself. Uh, it, <laughs> It, people get real generous, and when I'm around other musicians, they get real well uh, creative their own selves. So, I must be doing something right. <laughs> if you don't like it, don't go watch. Go go watch something else. <laughs> it's time for a fresh read. <laughs> that happens too. Um, well, if you think other players don't do this, they just don't film it. <laughs> and if they do, they cut it out. Shit. Time for another box of these almost. This is the kind I like uh, best. Um, they pretty much don't ever need help coming out of the box, and they, they, they don't get soggy quite so quickly as some of the others. A lot of the others, the cheaper ones, these are kind of pricey. They're usually at least $2 a piece in 10 boxes. Sometimes I get lucky. But they're superior to all the others. And I just I just can't get the tone I like with anything softer than a four. They just don't want to work at all. more wheat. It needs to be wetter.
the bottom. Now it's a little squeaky, but that it's still breaking in. Low keys on the horn are down in here, and there are these pads. And getting down there, you won't hear a lot of players go like really outside the range of these six keys right here very much. And I, I, I try to work all up and on all through it, and 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 I, I, you know, I'm. I'm strictly improvisation. I'm strictly going by like what's moving inside my head at the moment, and I think the one thing that is is I'm most conscious of is not being redundant, keeping keeping it flowing, keeping you know knowing knowing how music registers in people's heads and looking looking for those you know. Hang, you'll hear me hang in certain notes just for, you know, I'm, I, I like to space, you know, I don't like to fill the, 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 the standard, the standard uh, feeling of the composer, the improvisational uh, instrumentalist toward it is that the music plays you. And... And, and you know, I, I, I'm I'm looking for a certain feeling. I, I you know, I'm mostly looking for upbeat and happy and um, just joy and and and, and merriment and, and just the light. I don't like getting too somber. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, mainly, I don't like getting redundant. <laughs> I'd rather shut up and play something else.
it's all right there. I can I can I can hear where it's it's failing to give me the optimal sound that I know is there. This is what <laughs> Dr. Moan got on me about this. He's got a I play billions and billions of notes until it comes out sounding like you hear it in your head. And it's got to be sitting on that mouthpiece just right or it won't play right either. To that stuff, huh? I'll drag it out some more and really piss them off <laughs> and get deep and, 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 and save like looking at their sites for last <laughs> and really, you know, make them make them make them wade through two hours of this shit before you even mention any of them. And I probably, I once I get there, I probably won't even want to do it. <laughs> You just don't feed them. Well, I just don't like the tuning tonight. Thank <laughs> you. 
decide whether I'm too sharp or too flat. <laughs> that really is bothering me. I think that's too sharp. definitely have the tuning fucked up, but I think I found that. It's way too sharp where I, where I had it. So, now I haven't been able to live stream for some reason because the audio's been fucked up and I have no idea why. But otherwise, um, once, once I found a, you know, it got in here, moved. <laughs> Actually, once I got the lease signed, I was like, okay, all that anxiety and stress was gone. And, you know, all the, the urgency of Trumpism is fading fast. And, and. And my my peers are turning their attention to uh, environmental issues and imperialism issues, human rights issues, and you know, getting back to like putting this country on track that we thought we were on when this Trumpian thing hit. Um, and you know, I, I'm I'm I've been in the middle of the road or all my you know, well, I was I was raised in a Chicago Democratic machine family. But my father was a pragmatist and he'd he he'd take the he's pretty conservative in a lot of things. Um but he did he did teach us to watch for spin and understand that politicians were full of shit and that but it's all about manipulating people's minds to Manufacture consent for them to do things with our money and our our our, our lives. <laughs> um, and, and you know we were the kids of the military-industrial complex lower levels. You know we my family was into uh, light manufacturing and uh, heavy construction. You know residential, commercial. Uh, structures, um, and yeah, I like to consider the those of us who were born between the end of uh, the Korean War and and uh, the beginning of the Vietnam War as a separate generation from the baby boomers and the Gen Xers. Was a, we were the nuclear generation family uh, generation. We were a nuclear family generation. And that's kind of two-pronged, too, because of, the, you know, the Cold War and, and the threat of nuclear holocaust and uh, the extended families 
you know, I, I came into this world in my grandfather's house in the, in the coach house in the back. That's where they brought me home from the hospital after I was born. Um, and we lived there until right before my sister was born in 1957. We lived there until like June of 1957. Um, with, you know, in my grandparents' home with my aunt and uncle and their two kids and uh, me and my brother and our dogs and, and, and uh, uh, a friend of the family's who was uh, with his family, his, his wife and young children, um, who uh, was, he was in working his way to a medical, uh, he's a surgeon. Um, and so we were part, you know, there was, we grew up in this huge family. I, on the weekends, you know, my my one grandparent's house would be on Saturdays. There'd be a big open house there with all my grandmother's sisters and brothers and their kids and grandkids and everybody gathered there for barbecue. And um, we'd do the same thing at my dad's folks house up on the north side on Sundays. Um, you know, it was, you know, a focus and direction and it was a very prosperous time. Um, and, you know, it, in Lakeview, we weren't really exposed to, um, you know, there was a, 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 a racial mix there. So there wasn't like a whole lot of room for the white nationalism, you know, the white supremacy and religious nationalism um, that you see springing up in the last 20 years, 40 years or so. Um, there wasn't room for that in Lakeview. Um, it was a different the playing field. Was all the money money talks bullshit walks. <laughs> that was Chicago, and and so it was a pretty level playing field in that respect. You know, if you had it, <laughs> you got it. You you got it. You get it. And, and and it's just as simple as that in Chicago, or it was when I was a kid. Um, and you know they're black billionaires and and, and Latin ones too. Um, oh, the natives haven't done that. And it probably doesn't know better. Um, yeah, being 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 rich is not you know poor poor and famous is tough, but but it's 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 it's, it's never boring. <laughs> um, and I'm not even all that famous, which is good. I I, I like it that way. Uh, I, I I prefer a small room. Um, but anyway. Um. Things are moving real well. Um, I've had a fair bit of business this week. Sold some stones and necklaces. Um, and uh, the only thing I'm lacking is a lawyer and a lover. I, I, you know, I have all these wonderful platonic friends. I mean, one of them is like just so. She loves me so much that, you know, I told her today that um, she talks to me in text the way, like, I dream of my lover talking to me when we're, like, naked in each other's arms. Um, talking about, you know, each other's talents and, and, and trials and tribulations and shit. Um, had uh, friends over here tonight. Um, that's a nice weed this week. That's tasty shit. I don't know where I'm getting this from. It don't look like Mexican. Don't smell like Mexican either. I gotta go. Eventually, we're gonna be able to buy from the dispensary. So we'll see if we'll see if it's worth even doing, or keep on, keep on, keep on. on. Um, so anyway, um, if you're new to the channel, <laughs> uh, I really have nothing to say um, to any of the accusations of my uh, alleged uh, sex offenses. You know, it's like, it's just not real. None of it. Um, I'm a crazy old hippie. I'm queer as fuck. 
but I, I, I'm not in, in, in physically and mentally, not in behavior. Um, I'm, I'm real like sexually conservative. Actually, I'm, I'm monogamous and, and heterosexual in, in terms of like what I want to get naked with forever. Um, I think I have the opposite plumbing from me. You know, I want a man, but dude, dude needs a pussy. <laughs> Sorry, I got this thing. <laughs> and it's just the way it is. Um, or masking a woman will work, you know, uh, what else is kind of common stupid thing people say about me? Um, I'm not a commie. <laughs> I'm a social democrat, I think it is probably the best, uh, political description. I, I, I like to call myself a, 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 a devout eclectic and staunch middle of the roader. My uh, religious education was uh, Reformed Jewish by anti-Zionist rabbi named Louis Benstock, um, who was one of the founders of the American Council of Judaism, which was the anti-Zionist voice of the Reformed uh, Hebrew faith. When uh, before before the Zionist state was formed. Um, so I, you know, the, the strongest opposition to Zionism has always come from the Jews themselves. Um, you, you can't, you can't make excuses for what they're doing in Palestine to me and tell me I'm, I'm anti-Semitic for, for calling bullshit on it. I'm not buying into that. Um, what else? I know, I'm going to take a, a short cigarette break. Is that weed or tobacco in there? I forgot. I think it was tobacco. I'm smoking outside, smoking tobacco outside. We just keep it in the house. Which apparently my neighbor does too. Okay. Now, I, I'm let's let's get to another uh, misconception about me. I'm not a transvestite. I'm not a transsexual. I'm a trans feminine intersex person. Naturally born girly guy. And this is me. Um. I'm not male or female. I have very distinct male aspect who's no fucking fun at all. <laughs> Plain and simple. You can, you can see me as a crazy old hippie woman or you can see me as a crazy old hippie man. I don't give a fuck. But if you see me as a hippie man, please don't play the victim. If you piss me off, <laughs> you know, come on, and, and 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 you cowards who hide behind internet connections, 
trying to piss me off, get me get me blocked with Facebook. Fuck you. you you're dying a fire. You, you, you people suck. You're, you're, you're just chicken shit anonymous, sadomasochistic voyeurs. You get off on the schadenfreude, pissing people off in the ass pats and the high fives to get from the other fucking sadomasochistic voyeurs. You share this shit and ridicule your betters. You're, you're, you're delusions of intellect and redeeming social worth. That The whole fucking site is nothing but stalkers. And, 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 and the other one is nothing but fucking criminals doing dirty work for the government. <laughs> or ripping people off. So, I'm going to suck the cough drop. Because we've got, you know, this is a Valentine's Day love, 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 love show. <laughs> this is, this is my, my, my Valentine's night. You know, I didn't even go out today. I hung out and had friends over. Um, <laughs> and, and, you know, my friends are largely like older, may or may not have significant others. Many of them are widowed. Um, many of them are survivors of sexual assault. Um, most of us are nerds. Um, and, and you know it's it's that if if you wanna you know we live love you know the, the, the love is the only answer and 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 we need to be able to smile and be happy and laugh at life uh not always get all serious and angry at, at about things that are totally beyond our control and the message that <laughs> one of one I can't name any names because of the assholes that you know, but it's okay. One one brother um, posted his Valentine's greeting was was uh, it's better to have loved and lost than to be stuck living with the with the psycho bitch for the rest of your life. Um, that was his Valentine's greeting. Uh, apparently, he's had several psycho bitches in his life. Um, another friend was going off about. I mean, she, she, she's from a totally dysfunctional family where she was sexually abused by her elders and yada yada. Um, and she's <laughs> really fucking raging today, benting on, on shit, but, you know, touches and peewee hugs and kisses shit. And it's like, nah, that's bullshit, man. <laughs> that's just total fucking bullshit. What about the people that families that are fucked up? And, you know, I have to, you know, if there's anything I regret in my life is I didn't play along with my family well enough to have stayed within the good graces of my father through the peak of his life. Um, but in, in its own way, it made me stronger, not having that privilege uh, that all that money my sister, um, I don't even want to go into my siblings at all. Um, Mom's taking the whole thing very well. For a 92 year old lady that can hardly hear and got brittle bones. <laughs> I've never been alone in her whole life. She, she says she went straight from her father's house to her husband's house. And, and she's never been not left alone for more than a few days. Um, Dad used to travel half the month. Um, but she had household help and we had extended family. And I just... Uh, I couldn't hang with myself. Yeah, um, here I am. Um, 
but um, you know, I probably should read some of this. Uh, Yes, yeah, so I don't see it there. Oh, it's not on my page. That's right, because it's in a group. That's a private group. So now I gotta find the last place somebody liked it. Let's find that bitch again. Here it is. This is in one of those uh, group for transgender people. And here's a person ranting about um, people who have not the slightest clue of the difference between a transvestite, a drag queen, and a trans person. And uh, my reaction to that was, must we beat this dead horse? What happened to love all, hate none, and peace, love, unity, and respect? The only real difference between a drag queen and a transgender woman is quite often four years in hormone therapy. The problem is in the word transgender, which is overbroad and was coined at about the same time for conflicting reasons. On the one hand, transsexuals wanted to desexualize the term, and the doctors started using transgender. On the other hand, non-operative gender queers wanted to depathologize their status and coined the term transgender. So here we are nearly 50 years later with, all, with us all othering each other, fracturing the community into squabbling factions. Today, transmedicalist transsexuals are causing a lot of conflict, dictating the rules of being transgender to everybody. And stigmatized terms like transvestite are brandished at transgender people who don't live up to the standards that transsexuals are espousing in countless threads like this one. Everybody's valid. If you don't like it, don't look. But don't expect anybody to respect your presentation if you're not respecting theirs. And, you know, I'm old hippie. And it's like hippies embrace individuality. They celebrate the diversity. It's like, oh, you're different. Cool. Tell me about yourself. Now, oh, you're thus and such, and that makes you one of those. Um, you know, whatever floats your boat. And, and, and if you don't like it, let it be so that you don't mess it up for somebody who does. Um, it's all good. No best or worse. It's just all good. It's all relative. It's all subjective. It's your subjective reality. You know, been in or buzz off. So, like, I, I have to be around, like, real relaxed, laid-back, nice people, or I just can't be around it. So I end up alone a lot, which is okay, because uh, I, I can entertain myself. Um, and I have a lot of friends. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't watch TV, and I haven't for 20-some-odd years now. Uh, 15 without a TV. And, and, and really, I've hardly watched any TV since 1984, 82. Uh, yeah, I watched a lot of TV with Harold, and that was the last time. 84 was the last time I was in a movie theater. And... Uh, You know, life is real for me. I'm, I'm real things. I'm, I'm the founder of Real Things. We're an artisan's cooperative. We're all about individually crafting hand, handmade goods that are, you know, for real things, for real people. Um, and it, it, you know, totally loosen it, but there's, there's been people in and out of here all over the years that have contributed a lot and have, you know, brought a lot to it and taken a lot away in terms of, you know, just 
good times and good good energy, good vibes, things that make people happy. You know, I I really I have no 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 reason for yeah. You know, I, I my sex is so fucked up. I have no reason to be living uh, other than to educate and entertain people. I, mean, I, I, I was totally denied everything I wanted in terms of a career. Um, and they fucked up my sex when I was little. So may, may as well stay happy. Stay, keep it interesting. <laughs> so anyway... Moving right along, there, there, there's, we're basically um, my, you know, my crowd. We're, we're social democrats, you know. I mean, I there's a few hardcore right winger or left wingers, you know, militant lefties, but you know, too much extremism for me to, you know, we're the middle of the roaders. It's like, okay, cool, yeah, I vote Republican and I vote Democrat, and it's okay. We're, we're not that really off. We're on the same page, but don't totally agree. So let's compromise. That's pretty much, you know, my political milieu. Um, and it's like, you got to be nice to each other. You got to be making sense. Got to be nice to each other. Got to be making sense. Uh, and, and that's that I, I have, I, I don't know. I mean, I have 125 friends on my private account. And, and these are all people I interact with often. Um, and I probably have like over 500 friends on my on my public account, and uh, I know they're, they're my my best group has 115,000 people in it. Um, and, and, and I you know my own groups have 1,500 people in them, but they're, no, they're not that big. Um, they're both over 500. I think one I forget if one's over a thousand yet. I have to check. They're, they're both you know pretty big, good size and. Uh, they got a lot of people in the transgender caucus. People are starting to post a lot, and I, I you know, I got uh, somebody who's active in posting their own self. Um, being a mod, and I got several contributors in one group. I haven't had time to uh, really devote to the science group, um, so I, that doesn't have as many other people posting. But the focus um, is back on human rights and, you know, um, reforming, you know, white nationalism, white supremacy and religious nationalism are like blights on our populations that we really need to eliminate. And over the next, it's probably going to take at least 18 months, I'm sure. Of lots of trials, a lot of people are going to get tried for this, and it needs to, you know, not just Donald Trump, but all his enablers, all the people that financed that shit, all the people that plotted it. Alex Jones incited it. You know, it's absolutely. There needs to be widespread prosecution of it. Justice needs to be served on that, or it was just a training exercise. So, like, the journalists, like Abby Martin and Caitlin Johnstone, and I'm sure quite a few others. I haven't seen what Vanessa Beely and what's what's the other lady's name from in the Middle East that, that does some good work out there. I forget her name. Uh, Eve Bartlett. Um, you know, their focus is back on on, on American imperialism. You know, Julian Assange, um, the Abby Martin's going off on, on the rise in, in mercenary deployments in Afghanistan. You know, they might be scaling our own troops back, but that's still our mercenaries over there. Um, you know, police reform is, you know, a very, it's very high up on 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 everybody's agendas. Um, climate change. You know what are we going to do about the petroleum industry? We need to shut the petroleum fossil fuels down. <coughs> 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 
<coughs> and we need to green, <coughs> green everything. You know, the biggest driver toward climate catastrophe, the collapse that we're, we're witnessing, is the military industrial complex. American military has like almost 2,000 bases around the world. I think it's like 800 overseas and 1,000 here. And they are far and away the largest single entity polluter putting carbon into the atmosphere and toxic waste into the groundwater of any single entity on the planet. And, you know, when the um, pandemic started, the UN's calling for a global ceasefire. And naturally, the Americans didn't do that. Naturally, the American military spread that fucking thing all over the place. Um, early on, the clusters were all around Davis Mountain here in Pima County. And, you know, so the, the climate change and American imperialism kind of go hand in hand because the American uh, military, the industrialized military, that they're spreading all over the planet is making such a huge mess. Um, so until we green the military, you know, it's going to take a global ceasefire, greening the military, and totally retooling for peacetime projections of American military technology, like Dwight Eisenhower and John Kennedy had envisioned. Um, they just, you know, what they were proposing wasn't as profitable as blowing up little brown people for their dope and oil. What can I say? <laughs> so, anyway, that's that's where our main focus is these days, and, and my, my main focus is on selling stone. Um, here is my, my Valentine's message from earlier. Several friends have been raging at Valentine's Day pretty hard since last night, vigorously hating on the Love Day for its consumerism and generally messed up state of relationships for so many people. Valentine's Day was never a real thriller for me anyway, getting cued while I was in elementary school and none after that. I was in and out of relationships with women that were, for the most part, very good, except for the last one who was a textbook ex from hell. I pretty much stopped trying when the AIDS epidemic hit. Um, I'm looking for a mate. It got too risky to play the dating game. I refused to have sex with, with my last one until she got checked out for HIV. Since starting to live authentically, the attempts at relationships with men have been dismal, to say the least. One of them was so bad I learned what tawdry felt like. Hatred is an emotion we really should avoid. Extreme distaste is as far as I let it go, for me, about things like this. Ridicule is helpful in redirecting the anger which is just punishing ourselves for the bad behavior of others. Um, and here's the lady that uh, was talking to me like I'd rather a lover. I'd rather we were naked when she talks to me like this. I was never raised with Valentines except, like all of us, forced to bring them to elementary school. Well, I, I do not begrudge those who use it for a bit of joy in their lives. Hating on a heart? Questionable. The history, we all know it, but today I send you a Valentine's wish, TJ, that love will find you. And I came, I came back at her with plenty of love finds me, or I wouldn't have so many friends like you. It's sustainable sloppy sex that eludes me. And she laughed and said, well, may you find that too. Yeah, this was a comment. You know, I, I've been commenting on, on Caitlin Johnstone's wall and meeting people that way. Um, Caitlin uh, posted earlier today, Dear American leftists, as long as you ignore U.S. imperialism, we will refrain from destroying you. We will even allow you to maintain a few delusions about one day having a real health care system. Remain innocuous and you'll be safe. Love your permanent government. Some of us, my, my response to her was, some of us have been painfully aware of this reality straight along. 
and yet we still get out there and stage peaceful public assemblies to air our grievances and take it to the courtrooms and legislative chambers to redress those grievances. As this system has, that has been corrupted since the beginning says we should do it. Those of us who have worked hard to get out the boot for Biden did so with pledges to keep the Biden-Harris administration's feet to the fire about the American war toys industry and her imperialist foreign military exploits on behalf of Exxon and Monsanto. I had no choice in being born an intersex Jew, but I chose to be a hippie and I was blessed with an anti-Zionist rabbi, and I will stick to our agenda of working within the system to reform and remodel it. And, and then I, I pull, I wonder if, if I'll get a if I'll get a if I'll get a hit for this. Um let's, well shit. Well shit. I didn't <laughs> I just posted the picture. Peace is never discussed. Peace. See I wonder if they'll hit me for this. I, I don't own the rights to this. This is some word jazz called Dirty Fucking Hippies Were Right. I have no idea who made this. Anyway, I'm amazed that it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't even have 600,000 views. It's been around since 2009. Really cool, cool tune, and it's right on... Um, Right on wording. So anyway, as long as you know we're we're at the uh, we're at a good point where okay, you assholes. Uh, this is over an hour now, and, and here we're gonna we're gonna get to you. Um, so let's look at kiwi farms first. We have a note in the mailbox. From sexy senior citizen.
I'll, I'll explain what's going on here in a moment. Um, we want only the snippets. I don't know where is it. I, I'm really not happy with what it's doing with the pictures. There it is. I used to put the pictures in folders every day. And then I decided to stop doing that and just throw them out loose in the main folder. This is the one that he admits to that. So here, this is with um, someone who calls himself Sexy Senior Citizen, um, who had been a bit of a douche uh, in the past, but he said something that was straightforward about uh, Christine. Um, What's her last name? I forget. CWC. <laughs> um, who the Kiwi Farms is dedicated to. I'm stoned. That's okay. Uh, and he, he he's, uh, was explaining some things about Chris to me. And then um, He's responding to a comment I made the other day. It seems to be a really low level of consciousness to create a site for stalking random people and make up a lot of bullshit about them. And his response to that is posting blatantly false information is strongly discouraged on the farms. Speculation is one thing. Passing off a lie as the truth is another. Knowingly passing false information as true will result in your post being deleted. Well, they haven't deleted my post, or the post about me. Repeating the offense will get you suspended. And the thing about CWC, and, and, and every person of interest on this site, is that the embarrassing information was volunteered by them. Well, that's just like, these people are functionally illiterate and subjectively interpreting shit, like, completely out of context with the intention of whatever was originally said. Nobody convinced CWC, for example, to post, she came for CWC JPEG, which is um, I 
I don't understand that at all. And my comeback is my thread's loaded with blatantly false information about me. The embarrassing information I volunteered does not merit the definition of pedophile dog pucker. No one sneezles embarrassing admission. The shit about hounding a YouTuber to suicide is utter horseshit, and everything about my mental health and validity of my claims to be an intersex person is baseless twaddle. So you know, and here's what here's what he says back to me when I when I tell him when I tell him that. Um, you know something, Tom? That is a hundred percent true. Fingering a fifteen year old or rubbing a dog's coots isn't pedophilia or dog fucking. It's skeevy shit that would turn any decent person off from being someone's friend. But it isn't pedophilia or dog fucking, but who cares? Well, the courts will care. Um, telling people the story, showing them what you've written, the videos you make, you make the narrative easy to push. So easy that it's like shooting fish in a barrel, turning people against you. Here, this is incriminating here. Whenever you get into a spat, like, for example, the one you had with Pete Clark or the one you had with those teen trannies. You know what I do? I have a few socks that appear to be real people, real enough that they can get the benefit of the doubt. I, I, I just got blocked because of one of those socks attacking me. And, and, and I, I, I told him, you know, he, he comes out attacking me with the pedophile bullshit. And uh, my response was, save it for your defense, stalker. And that got me blocked. <laughs> they aren't they aren't like the fat ass Michael Collins Michael Rollins profile where you and your buddies got baited for fun and games. They have actual content to them. I get on those profiles and contact the people you were fighting with. They already had a negative perception of you, so they want to believe salacious bullshit. So I feed them your videos. I feed them screen caps. Then tell them stories. And for people with no reason to be critical, they accept that you actually are a pedophile dog fucker. After seeing Peterson laughing at you in the last video, I thought, what the hell? Might as well tell Tom how it all works. So there it is. And it will continue to work because there's enough truth to make everyone, everything else believable. Thanks. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's not going to last long. It really doesn't work all that well either. It's been, it's been isolated successes. And, and what's today? We'll see if I, I can get something done this week, coming week, with Facebook on this because it just it's just over and over again with this. And I've got this admission from him. Um. So, um, we'll send that to him. And see what if the farmers have anything worth responding to. Oh, that's nice. What an asshole. So here's here's a, a, a stupid thread about a stupid remark that an Arizona legislator made about comparing trans people to farm animals and uh, Sneasel calling himself Daisy May 
at uh, um, the Kiwi Farms these days says, well, Miss Tommy Jane Wasserberg has fucked every farm animal in Tucson. So my response to that is, projecting the denial of your zoo affiliate get at me again, maggot, I haven't ever fucked an animal, and I know you can't honestly say the same thing. This is the level of the intellect <laughs> that that I'm facing. I mean, just these are just idiots. They they live in a video game reality. Um, and the, these these <laughs> so Dave, Dave's screaming at me about being a pedophile dog fucker um, and I'll just stick this in his face <laughs> So there's really nothing, not much there, <laughs> and, and there's probably even less at, Yeah, that's all douchebags. Nothing worth responding to there. Let's see if there's anything going on in the worth responding to.
They're talking about uh, the B-52 and uh, AMARG, the uh, aircraft maintenance in something or other. What does it mean? Um, Air, Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Center. And there's, a, I don't know how many there are, but there's a big one right here in town at Davis Monthan. And I asked, they were talking about the B-52 because Dave has been saying stupid things about the B-52. And um, Bucket and, and, and Nomad are both Air Force. And uh, I asked if they, had, I don't I, I don't see any B-52s here. I see everything else but B-52s. Um, wow, they pull they pull a lot of parts off these planes for for a lot of different planes but not the B-52. Um, Oh no, there are some B-52s there in storage. They don't have that many in storage though. Um,
Yeah. Well, that's an interesting conversation about the B-52. Um, this is stupid. Well, that's all stupid. Well, no, it's even worth even opening up and looking at. I'm going to cut this off because my jaw is getting inflamed. I'm getting hungry, too. Um, happy Valentine's Day. Um... You know, I, I uh, was told that I would wake up in a world that had been cleansed of mean and stupid, meanness and stupidity. And nothing really visible had happened. <laughs> but, um, there is a greater widening of the gap between mean and stupid and 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 and, and, and kind and wise. <laughs> very very distinct, uh, distinct widening of the gap. And I'm really looking forward to um, this year being one of great growth for our our society, some healing in our culture. Um, you know, that, that the European tribal people um, finding their indigenous roots and learning about their ancient cultures before they returned into, like, you know, slaughtering uh, death machines for, for sick elite. Um, you know, these things are, I, I see a lot of growth in the, in the wind. And hopefully, uh, you know, all I need is a lover and a lawyer. I have I have plenty I have plenty of, of my own material things to keep me keep me happy and lots of other people that to share time with um with pos that give me positive feedback you know loving positive feedback so like happy day thanks for watching bye.